Hello again, RC car fans. I uh, ordered this corner weight system to try to help balance out my drift car. I figured it would be pretty important to have a fully balanced drift car because you're constantly, you know, drifting left and right, making turn changes. So I haven't opened this yet, but I just want to give you a heads up. I got it from this shop, AliExpress. The name is 9iMod Store. And it just came in a bubble wrap uh, envelope. So you can see the box is a little bit uh, dented, so it's a little bit wary or questionable if this is a safe way to ship something. This thing, this thing's pretty heavy. So ideally I think it would have been better if it was shipped in another box because original packaging boxes aren't really meant for shipping, right? So here, let's see, it says it's designed for bigger vehicles, but uh, I saw some other videos where, you know, this thing will measure, I mean, if it'll measure down to 0.1 grams, you can pretty much put any vehicle on this thing. It takes four AA batteries, which I've got ready to go. Um, <coughs> let's see here. It can max out at uh, two kilos on each scale, so basically an eight kilo vehicle would max it out. Uh, okay, some dimensions on it. So, all right, seems simple enough. Let's see if there are any, I assume there must be some instructions in here. Yes, there are. This thing is wrapped in some foam. There's a little cardboard separator. And then we got all the scales in there. So let's get this out of the way. Okay, let's get this out of the bag. So the scales seem to be color-coded. You can see a little blue heat shrink on this. This one's got uh, gray. This one's got some orange. And then this one's got some red. So, that's good. It probably doesn't really matter which scale you put in, but I guess it just helps you know which, you know, just to locate. So it's got this little protective thing on it. We'll get rid of that. But basically, yeah, you see here, the rear right is blue, the rear left is white, front left, you know, different colors for each corner of the vehicle. And yeah, so it does have some instructions. Let's see. I'm sure it would make sense to read all this, but uh, let's see if it's just intuitive. So I'm gonna ignore those for now, and let's just see if it makes sense on its own. Okay, so double A batteries. I'm just using some rechargeable ones. That one doesn't what's going on here. That spring is so tight, like this battery doesn't want to there we go. Man, that is a tight fit. Okay, that was a little bit better. I guess I need to learn how to put batteries in. So look at this, this is pretty nice. It comes with a little piece of foam to keep those batteries from rattling around. Maybe, you know, you'll take this to the track or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to hook up these scales. All right, so yeah, the input's here on the sides. So it's kind of weird. Rear left is here. And then the blue one would be this one here. The red one over here. Pop the orange one over here. Okay, so I'm gonna need to hire a tripod. Okay guys, I set it up here. I apologize if my photo booth is a little small, you can see the sides, but anyways. I didn't notice this before, but it came with this charging cable. So if you bring out like say your battery charger to the track, you can just plug it into your battery charger and then this, this uh, connector goes right in here on the, the left side. So that's pretty nice that it includes that as well. So let's take a look here. I now realize, you know, why they set it up the colors this way. Because they want you to put your car on this way instead of that way. I guess you could get used to it. Alright, so let's turn this thing on. The on button is in the middle. Okay. And then there's a zero button or tear here on the left. All right, let's put the car on. Oh, uh, you also want to work on a level surface. That's why I brought up my bubble level there. So it's uh, it's close enough for today's review. Okay. 
So, uh, hopefully the camera, you can, the hertz is like, uh, making the numbers flash. But when I look at it, the numbers don't flash at all. I think it's just the, the timing of my video camera. It's, it's, uh, the same frequency. So I apologize if the numbers look like they're flashing, but they really aren't in the real world. Okay, so you can clearly see that my weight balance is very far off. Overall, you can see, you know, it reads out the front weight. It's a little hard to read, 107, 102 in the rear. But it splits it up by percentage. So right now I have a 51% front heavy chassis versus 49 in the rear. And then on the right side, it's lighter than the left side, right? So it's nice that it has these percentages and then the actual total weights for the the right side, left side, total front, total rear. But really, right now, I'm just looking at the four corners here. So, <clears throat> naturally, uh, I'm gonna take this weight off. In my last video, I did a really cheap weight balance where I just put it on a round object to get the front rear balance. But I'm gonna have to redistribute this weight a little better. But for now, we'll just pretend that, you know, I don't have any weights there at all. And uh, let's see here. This is 47. I gotta put some weight up there. That's pretty close. I gotta put some weight back here. No, that's still a ways off. That's a little too much. So the rears are pretty close now. Uh, it's only this front one. Maybe it needs a. Nope, that one fell off. Yeah, it's close enough, right? So it's still a front, uh, front heavy weight bias, 51 versus 49, but I'm actually, that might be okay because it causes more traction for the, the front wheels to grip. You know, this is a rear wheel drive only, so you really need to have weight over the front tires or the thing's just gonna totally spin out, right? So it's also got a total weight of everything. So right now with all these extra nuts and stuff, it's 233 uh, grams. So I gotta say, this thing is really worth it. I think it's, uh, you know, although I was able to drift okay just using the front rear balance in my last video, I think the left-right steering was never quite correct. And you also saw in my last video, this thing isn't actually set horizontal because I was compensating for the, the steering trying to be equal. So I had to literally shift the weight to make the front uh, tires grip the same amount. But now that I have the scale, I'm gonna reset everything so it's horizontal, and then add the weights again, and then hopefully it'll all, it all match up. Okay, so then uh, let's just look at the units here. The unit button is here on the right. So those are ounces, uh, but uh, ounces is just weird for me. I mean, it's not very precise, right? 1.8 ounces versus 50-ish grams or whatever it was before, right? So it's just not a, it's a strange unit measurement. I don't know why anyone would use that. Let's just switch back the grams, right? So that's really it. Uh, the last thing you want to do if you want to turn it off is you just have to hold the power button until the display shuts off. Seems to be like three or four, three seconds or something like that. So uh, I would have to say this is definitely worth getting if you really care about uh, the handling performance of your vehicle. With drifting, I think it's really important because you're constantly swinging left and right, and you wanna be able to have the same feeling when you're changing those directions. And so I think you really need to have an equal amount of weight on each tire in order to do that uh, drifting equally left and right. So anyways, I would have to say this is a worthwhile purchase. Uh, that seller, you know, he got me the product safely would have been nicer if it was in a box, but uh, I'm pretty happy with my purchase, not nevertheless. So I hope this uh, helped you guys out, and maybe I'll catch you in the next review. Thanks.